Go to your launch pad and find Adobe Animate right here in the red. Click it and it will open up. Pause the video right now and open Animate. You're gonna click on HTML5 Canvas, this one right here. Click it and you will find yourself a blank canvas. Pause the video and click HTML5 Canvas. Now. I want your window to look like mine, so go to Window, go to Workspace, and click Animator. Make sure you do this first so that it looks like this. Pause the video and go to Window, Workspace, Animator. Now. Now go up to where you can choose your size and click Fit to Window. Pause the video and select Fit in Window. I'm not going to do this anymore. You're going to have to pause it by yourself now. There we go, something to work with. Up here we have the timeline. This is where we're gonna keep track of our keyframes. We only have one right now, it's that frame one, but we can go really high later on. Let's grab the brush tool, it's this one right here. Let's choose our color using either this tool or this one, uh, both of which, if you change things, will allow you to get just about any color. And I wanna tell you, show you how to change your size. So by clicking the bracket keys next to P, you can make it smaller or bigger. I'm gonna go ahead and choose a medium-ish size and create a swoosh, like that. Now I need to make another keyframe so that I can draw another one. And so I'm gonna hit function F7, boom. That will create another keyframe. I can draw on this one, but it would help if I could see the picture before it. So I'm going to turn on something called Onion Skin, which is right here. Click Onion Skinning, and you'll see the frame before it. I'm then going to draw something else. I hit Function F7 again, and then I draw something else, and I keep doing this. Function F7, draw. Function F7, draw. Function F7, draw. Function F7, draw. And I do it faster and faster and faster little by little don't make fast movements as you can see if I hit the play button it's pretty smooth good and then I just keep going if you make things farther apart like this they will move a lot faster so if you want it to move quickly move it farther apart see how it right there nice and fast boom fast because those were farther apart so keep drawing, F7, function of seven, draw, function of seven, draw. Right here, I'm gonna start changing my color. Uh, draw, function of seven, change the color, draw, function of seven, change the color, draw, function of seven, change the color, draw. If I do this, my color will change slowly. So we've moved from blue to red now. I'm gonna see if I can make it look like it zips itself up. I wanna stop in the same place I start. So I'm going to take my onion skin and I'm going to drag it all the way over the whole thing so I can see every single thing I've done. And that helps me know where I started and so I can kind of draw over to where it starts so that when it plays and I loop it, it starts and stops in the same spot. So there's the loop button, I hit play and I got to drag the loop over here just like the onion skin, we're going to drag the loop thing for the whole thing and then it loops all together. See if you can get yours to be one continuous loop. When you're finished, go to File, Export, and Export Video. Just leave the settings and click Export. Clicking Export will open Adobe Media Encoder. You'll see your video right up here at the top. I would click on the name right here, click on this output file. That's gonna let you change the name of it. I'm gonna go ahead and Oh, my extended home isn't here. Click on extended home. Please make sure that you save it to your extended home. I'm going to call it squiggle animation. Now that my extended home is up, I go to my CCA file and save it by clicking save. I hit this go button, this green play button, and then it will process. When it's finished processing, we will have a check mark. This green check mark means it's done. I can now quit Media Encoder. I can go to my Finder, which will open up a window. I can go to my extended home. 
documents, my extended home file, and CCA, and there it is. If I hit the space bar button, space bar, it will play for me. And this is the file that you are going to turn in on Google Classroom. Have fun, and good luck.